this is this is what I have left of Pro Longwear, so I definitely need to buy a new foundation. So I did try to um no, I have decided to try the Match Master Foundation. If you ever um go into Mac store, this has been launched not very long ago, I think about a couple of months and it is slightly bigger to comparing to the normal MAC foundation okay and uh, when I wanted to match my color the wrap match it at 5.0 uh, this is a little bit different usually MAC foundation come in NC40 and NW32 that sort of stuff but on a match master foundation it comes in a, in a color like a number range that's what I'm trying to say number Okay, so my number turns out to be 5.0. I do think this color makes my skin a little bit dark. It is very close to my skin color, but it, it makes my skin a little bit more colored than I, I would usually like. But if I use it with a primer, it's all right. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you how I put it on and what brush I use. And I'm going to show you how it looks okay so I have something on my face because today is Sunday so I <laughs> I try not to wear a lot of my a lot of makeup because my boyfriend hates it he thinks it's Saturday Sunday it should be a makeup free day he doesn't want me to wear anything at all so I I did try um, putting some BB cream so it's not my skin so after my skincare I did put a BB cream um, if you use it I use a Maybelline BB cream that's what I use but I'm gonna just use a cleansing pack to take this off so that I can show you guys properly how the color looks okay um, the cleansing pack that I use is the Clarisel deep cleansing pads um, they're nothing extraordinary just a normal deep cleansing pad I use it one I don't want to go into the bathroom and wash my face so this is what I use so you're gonna see all my scars and spots and everything so well that's what my skin looks like see I do not have perfect skin at all and past two weeks I've found that I have been breaking out around there and just on one side of my face which is a bit weird I don't know what happened but to be honest with you I've been eating crap <laughs> a lot lately a lot of spicy a lot of salty stuff so I can't really blame my skin because I've been eating crap okay so that's what I have on my face Oh come on. I'm gonna let my face dry normally but I don't have a lot of time. I don't want to drag you guys time so I'm gonna just try my face. Okay. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my face primer. The primer that I use is from E2 House, it's a numb aura boosting primer. Okay, this is quite free, um, not quite recent as well. It just being come up, so I wouldn't use a lot. This is, bear in mind this makes your skin white, so it kind of balances it out if your foundation color is a little bit dark. So I'll use my Real Technique stippling brush. This brush is like holy grail. Okay, I use that. Spread my foundation. What it does is it gives your skin um, a better base for the foundation at the same time it kind of balances out your skin and it makes your face a little bit flawless if your face is um, is dark in patches or all that 
this gave a little bit of glowy light sort of um, finish that's why I use this primer so I'll do that So the primer is done. I'm gonna make the let the primer sink in a little bit, and what I'm waiting, I'm gonna just put um, a little bit of brightening concealer under my eyes. And where the darker patches could be. <laughs> I look ridiculous, but. <laughs> This is where it um, has a shadow on your face. That's the one reason I really like this brush. You can use it for a lot of stuff, for your concealer, for your foundation, for your cream blush. It's just like you can just use one brush to put on all of that and I think it's totally worth it. I think I paid about £30, not 30 £13, twelve ninety nine from Boots and I think it's absolutely worth it absolutely amazing so you can see there's not much of a like a dark area as before that's why you should use a like a I think they there are products called highlighter pens or highlighting concealer that that is the sort of stuff you should put under your eyes and where you have a um, sort of a dark shaded area I don't have a dark shaded area around my nose you can probably see some people do put concealer around their nose and there as well so it's, it's up to you how your face is okay so while I'm waiting for my primer to finish I have put on my concealer so you can really say my primer is setting now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation so right I will probably put in one, two, three pumps. Probably this is enough. You can see the color is like really, really yellow. It's not orange, it's really yellow, uh, which I don't mind. I like foundation rather yellow than being really white. I don't like the white looks of foundation, so this I do not mind. So I'm gonna stipple this on. I'm gonna spread it across my face. Then blend. If you have an extra, don't don't worry about it. You can just use it for under your chin, so that there's not a lot of uh, color differences. Okay, so that's 
so I have put it on across my face and there is a little trick that I really want to show you guys and what's going to happen if you have a hair like my, mine um, if you put on a foundation on your forehead you can really see the color difference between there and here okay so what I normally use is this um, blending sponge um, I got this from H&M I don't know how much I pay for it this usually you can use it for your foundation to tap it on like this and you can use this um, ends to reach your under your eyes but, but I use this for that area so what are you gonna do you're gonna push the foundation into your hairlines as like this okay so you're gonna you're not gonna have that problem of having a foundation lines here and then have a different color on your hairline so that's that so, um, do excuse my boyfriend, he just walked in, but that's it. That after my foundation on, if you really like a matte sort of look, you can put your powders on, and if not, you can just go ahead and apply your uh, blusher and all that. So, um, my verdict on this foundation is, um, it's okay, like I said, it, I, I've kind of find like this make my skin a little bit dark uh, at the end of the day but um, if I use it with the primer it's okay if I don't use it with the primer and I just use it as my foundation itself I did find the color change a little bit um, at the ends of the days like it's kind of oxidized and the color is a little bit more yellow I'll say um, it doesn't control the oil as much so if you are really after a long wear foundation I would really suggest that you go for a prom long wear and not for the match master but it does look good um, if you're taking pictures and stuff like that so if you're after a, a picture like perfect foundation you can probably go for this um, I don't know how long I will be using this because I bought this already so I well I suppose I will have to finish it but it's not too bad but I, as far as I'm concerned all of all the MAC foundation um, there is not one that I that I like as much as the Studio Fix Fluid so probably I'll be going to it pretty soon but for the time being I'll have to finish this so um if you have any questions or anything like that, do comment below and I will try to answer as quick as I 